Hello guys, this is Magic and let's have a look at the control panel. The control panel consists of live preview of your application which you are making. Please note that some of the features which we supply uh, are not supported by this preview, uh, especially those future the, na the natives one, which could be only view uh, using your phone, on your phone, on your device. And for this we have for you our own Apps Volcano preview application. Uh, what you could do is uh, download it to your phone, iPhone, Android, and uh, log in with the credentials which you use to create Apps Volcano account. And then you just select the application name which you are making and you will be able to see very accurate uh, uh, live preview of your application. And those two little arrows are first one is backup, second is restore. If you click backup, you will get zip file which you can download on your computer and keep it as a backup of your application. Restore button will give you option to upload the zip file and restore your application. Uh, whenever your application is ready to be published, you just click publish and follow the steps. Uh, resource manager and class manager. Resource manager is kind of a library of all the files which you use to create application, either pictures, audio file or video files. Uh, class manager, if you are familiar with CSS, uh, HTML, this is the place where you go. Uh, let's have a look at the resource manager first. Uh, right here are the files which uh, I use to create the example application, a gallery. Uh, we supply you with all many, many, many different kinds of icons, pictures, graphics, which you can freely use to create your application. If you like to upload your own graphics files, you click upload file and upload it from your computer to the resource manager. Uh, those two options, duplicate and synchronize. Uh, duplicate is very useful when you are making application. Uh, in this case, uh, I made for iPhone and then I like to make the same for Android. Uh, thanks to this button, I, I don't have to make it from the scratch from the beginning. All I do is just click duplicate, select Android, and hit duplicate and that's it. It will duplicate application uh, which will be for the selected device in this case Android. Uh, so it will save you a lot of time the duplicate. Synchronize is uh, you have two application at the moment and you want to combine those two into one. This is well, what you would use. Uh, all those buttons are settings for uh, the, the, the whole pages at the same time. So either you use uh, page settings uh, or design properties, navigation settings. Uh, this uh, will set the, the properties for all the pages, all the pages. And if you want to uh, customize uh, one page by one, so they look differently, uh, what you would do, you just hit edit pages and um, then each page has the same settings, the same settings. So you would just do the same but for each page if you like. Uh, let's go through all the, the options one by one. The first one, edit pages, uh, the most important as this is the place where you actually go and add pages, customize them. Uh, let's have a look. Right, left side, live preview. Right side, all the pages which create application. And those four uh, buttons, uh, first one is to add new page, second is to delete selected one, third is to duplicate, and fourth is to um, rename. And as you can see, each page, each page has those three uh, options, uh, which I mentioned 
mentioned before, the, the four specific pages, like design properties, a page settings, and other settings. Uh, let's say you want to customize the tab, tab, tab one uh, page. Let's click and do it. Uh, these are the options to customize the specific page in this in this uh, example page one uh, I will not go uh, in details as I will do it in next video so I just like to you to get familiar with the control panel uh, this this was tab one uh, tab two which be, which is this one tab three this one and for this one obviously of course you can have many many more tabs um, no problem uh, just please remember that those three settings are in to set a particular page uh, separately customize separately and uh, let's have a look what's uh, under style under style you can Customize background, make it either color, image, a font, text, uh, or link color of this particular page, not whole application, this particular page. A third option uh, is to customize navigation bar, which is this bar on the top of your screen or uh, to customize um, banners if you're using one advertising banner you can customize them to appear at the top or bottom uh, transitions you can make them curl uh, you can make them f flip or jump I don't know from the top many many options uh, ratings very useful for SEO those uh, five star which you can see the, the gold one and uh, this is where you can enable it or disable uh, dynamic pages uh, sharing options very useful for uh, promotions and you can hide the bar on this particular page and what I like to stress and point are those two buttons if you use done and uh, you just made some kind of customization if you click done all will be lost so please remember whenever you make any kind of customization to hit first save settings uh, save changes and then done okay that's it for this option so that this was edit pages mm, next one is page settings in page settings we will see the same options but this will be to for all the pages at the same time so basically if you make page settings in here and then uh, make different settings un under each page the 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 last one the, the the each page will overwrite the general settings okay uh, and, and this, again the same options you have options to customize banner navigation bar you can input your logo and um, you, you can make it visible or not uh, saying the banner either on the top or bottom uh, what else the trans transitions transitions just have a look how many options how many options push from right, left, top, curl, flip, move, uh, fade, different kinds. Oh, this one is very nice, uh, future flip, uh, flick, which is uh, slide to next page. Very useful when you are creating new stand magazine. What it does, let's say right now we are on advice page in your application and you want to customize that whenever someone slide this page it will go to certain page which you can customize here very very nice uh, ratings uh, this is where you can enable this feature for 
uh, for the pages and ratings I'm, sh I'm, I'm sure you know what it is right and dynamic pages sharing options so this is where you uh, select it to appear this is the small top right corner button send either via email Facebook or save to photo library and the last one you can just hide the tab bar okay next one next one design properties design properties are uh, uh, as I mentioned before, this one are general for all the pages. As you can see, they are the same that uh, we seen on uh, individual pages, right? Background, font, text, link, color, done. And navigation settings in here you can uh, select uh, either standard tabs, which looks like this custom one you can upload your own icon text background or very cool looking wheel or you can disable uh, tab bar uh, which you would do making uh, web apps okay next one application settings and these are uh, general uh, number of tabs you select in here, uh, share link, the link to your application in the store, startup options, access, uh, control, those are for advertising banners if you like it. This is if you like your application to be uh, able to be shared uh, via Facebook. Uh, those two are third party futures which we will talk in separate video google Anal analytics uh, cards sharepoint uh, quiz and the in here let's say if you are using contact us page or feedback and um, uh, whenever the the email uh, will be sent to to the the user, and this there will be op, there will be information from who it's been sent, and if you are leaving if you will leave those um, those option blank, uh, your user of application will see it came from Abs Volcano. Let's see dot com, right? So if you want the email to be shown uh, it's it came it came from your company email this is where you have to fill up FTP uh, settings platform information uh, what you will do is I mean in here let's say you're using in-app e purchases so you have to fill out in here ratings if you're using uh, there is uh, each application has own ID uh, which you will have to uh, fill uh, input in here. The ID of, of application you can get from iTunes. And um, this is uh, the option to customize your message whenever uh, the, the application will ask the user uh, for ratings. Uh, this is the, you can, you can customize actually the, the, the question. And answer, the button right localization and a raw view of your code of application done next uh, app store properties in app store properties you have name uh, description of your application keywords categories icon right done next one what we have uh, app multimedia, uh, two different kinds of icons. This is the information about uh, dimensions, splash screens, then push notification. Uh, this is your control panel whenever you want to send the notification to the users. 
you you go to in here type your message and send push in this case and your message goes to the phone of of the users and newsstand properties uh, this there will be separate uh, video tutorial designated to uh, newsstand newsstand publishing but this is uh, where you select um, to enable the app for newsstand category and the last one statistics very useful because this will give you the option the information about how many times it's been downloaded launched uh, let's say in here you can specify the period of the uh, information to be displayed and many more very useful strongly recommend uh, what else uh, Okay, duplicate synchronize we talked about that's pretty much it for control panel and I will see you in next video